This is Sailor the Piper Man, Piper the Sailor Man, coming to you here from the island of Puerto Rico. Uh, back with my dogs, back at home, my personal home. And uh, as you know, I I spent this weekend over visiting my mother up in the mountains, and so I'm back now. Miss my home, miss my wife, and uh, so this right. This saying, which is a verse, as for me and my my house, we will serve the Lord. My mom gave me this for Christmas. And I thought it was real neat. And I'm going to cherish this, you know, because that's exactly how we feel. That's how we, we live our lives here. You know, we're not overly religious. But for every everything that good comes our way, we give the Most High, the Supreme Divinity, the Creator of the Universe, all honor and glory. That's just us, you know. And uh, so I had a great time I'm here, uh, putting some Irish Flake into this Rossi Billiard. Look how wide that babe bad boy is. <laughs> I love it, man. I love it. I love these. I gotta get me a couple, man. You know? And I like it because it's wide. You can clinch it. Bro, let, let me take a sip of this. Uh, the, dog, the dogs are barking at, at some cats. So, I'm gonna light this bad boy up. This Irish flake. Just gonna have a little Irish flake. It's a little strong with my espresso. Birds are chirping. It's calm now. So. The last couple of times that I ordered Irish Flake was moist, overly moist. I don't understand why. Maybe it's a um, well aged. Light it up again. And so I had a great time. Very light. So here. So I want to talk about some of the, the the things, the things I'm planning for this new year. I know I said I wasn't going to put other videos, but I try to put as many videos as I can because I went to my mom's home the last minute, and I really wanted to show. Maybe just a little bit. And um, you saw me at the beach, you saw me. We all had a great time. It had been a while. And so I had this opportunity. I went to take the, get the booster shot afterwards. On my way back, I was gonna take the shot and head back home. When we got there, Hey, you can get it at the pharmacy. The crowd, the crowd in the line was around the block. I said, "What the heck?" And I forgot. It's after some people heading back home, and they need some kind of shot or proof that they vaccinate just to get back into the state. Around the corner, block. I said, "No, I ain't waiting." Get me home, I'm fine, I ain't going nowhere. I'm gonna wait to the end of the week or the week after, after everything blows over, to go get a, go get the booster, if that. I don't know if I'm gonna get it or not. 
With that being said, I'm finally home. Well, what I wanted to talk about, uh, this year I spent buying pipes. Uh, pipes I really wanted. Smoking pipes, not artisan pipes, not pipes for a collection. I still have a couple of pieces. And my 18 pipes, I want to get to 24 pipes. So I have a couple of pipes. I'm thinking of, I just ordered a Falcon. Let's see if it gets here. Oh, oh we wanted a Falcon pipe, never had one. So I just find it very unusual. And I'm noticing the Scandinavians and uh, Suji from Japan made something similar to it. And it said that the that the Falcons and a uh, company, if it's still around, that's not being made more. Maybe somebody's got the patent for it. Or what have you. So you have to scrounge around. To find it, I really don't like. I don't really like bidding for something that I can buy. And I always feel like I'm gonna get ripped off when all of a sudden I, I put a bid in, and God knows if the same person is putting a bid in or somebody else is that, that that knows the person's putting a bid in and they raise the price. So I always find bidding unfair, even if it's some cheap pipes that you get I don't like to go through that's just me I don't like having to go through it having to ream it have to do the stem so I'd rather buy a brand new pipe start from scratch build up the cake do everything myself it's my pipe you know uh, and and I use it so I ordered a brand new Falcon Let's see what happens. I want to order Calabash. Another long stem pipe. When you see, I, I would love to buy cor uh, corn cobs uh, with um, acrylic stem. That's very hard. Some some places don't ship out here. And uh, I like to feel comfortable with the person I'm purchasing this thing purchasing from so right now I just stay with one company to get me my tobacco I haven't had problems with it and once I'm I'm doing business with one person the person's doing me fine I usually I'm loyal I usually stay with them so I'll just have to wait to see what new pipes they bring in and I go from there if I can't get the tobacco I want, I won't get it. I'll wait until they bring it in or I'll make a suggestion, bring it in, I'll, I'll buy it. So I'm always interacting. I'm always calling these companies up. That's just me. I like to do that. I like to call. I've called Savonelle. I've called Peterson. Right now I'm trying to see if I can get a couple of uh, Winslow pipes, Winslow freehand pipes that I really, really like. I have a freehand from um, that was made for a stand where I like to get two or three pieces. Just to have one collection, maybe of four pipes of a specific uh, maker. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking of choosing um, Bajarn, which I really like. And I happen to have known... Uh, the owner of the company before he passed away in 2008, I think, or 2009. I knew him. I used to represent and sell that pipe. So, out of memory and out of respect for him, the name is not Bajan Pipes anymore. It's Viking Pipes. Whoever's well, running is still making pipes. They're making pipes now in, um, in Italy. A lot of the Danish companies have moved there. For whatever reason, the Scandinavian court chose to to move some pipe companies they bought to Italy, which is fine with me because I bought Ross here by Savadelli, I bought Br Brigham pipes, and they make great. They got great quality, you know. So 
you know I just like the Danish designs so once I found out that Stanwell designs are actually from real Danish pipe makers even though the Danish pipe makers are not making those designs those designs are being made by uh, Italian uh, companies and it understand well so I like the design so I'm gonna to try to get those those pipes hey get the about six seven more pipes but this year I want to concentrate on two things I want to concentrate I'm building my supply of tobacco to the point where I can have five years worth of tobacco like next year stock up five years worth all kinds all kinds of tobacco not just one all kinds of tobacco uh, work also on the pipe club and uh, Hopefully I can make it to the Ohio or Richmond uh, Pipe Expo, the expedition. Hopefully I can make it to the New York Pipe Expo. Go meet the people. And so, you know, if you have information when it comes about, let me know. Uh, also, uh, basically that's it when it comes to, to pipe and get more pipes, uh, st store the tobacco, no more than, than five years, uh, I'm doing it, you know, and, uh, hopefully the tobacco industry, uh, will continue to be making pipe. If not, I have pipes for five years. I mean, I have smoke for five years, three bowls a day. So I'm going to average three bowls a day for five years. That's how much. Uh, it's going to take a couple of pounds. Of <laughs> and so, you know, I think it's important. Not wait, but do it. I like to be a doer and not just talk about it. So that's what I plan to do. And of course, when the pipes come in with the new tobacco, comes in I'm gonna uh, you know share uh, do some reviews uh, I want to give a shout out to Cass Piper I haven't seen him online in over a month I was going through some posts on some other YouTube I'm not sure that he was sick or something had happened to him. So if you're sick, get well. Cass Pipe, I hope you're okay. I love your sight. I love your humor. And also shout out to Dan Lopez. The other day, Dan was live online and I happened to pop in. And he's very interesting, you know. I wonder why he's not on, 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 on YouTube more often. So Dan Lopez, shout out to you. I really enjoyed your your um, uh, the little talk that you were having, and also for acknowledging me coming in there. And hopefully, at least once a month, you can put a a video up. I love I love watching you guys. I respect all you guys. I enjoy them. And uh, I'm having some espresso. Boy, this is good. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, hopefully, I can get to go see my grandchildren. I got two, two girls. So I have two girls in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and then I have a son in Rhode Island. And, uh, I like to travel the east 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 coast and uh I have to figure how I'm gonna do this. Am I gonna take 
a train, I'm gonna take a bus. Uh, if I can get a friend of mine in New York to drive me around, if he's willing. Yeah, it's gonna cost a little money, but I don't care. Cause you saw me when I get, when I get going, I like to have fun. Enjoy myself. Definitely I wanna meet some people. Tunnel. <laughs> and then, early, early the following year, if they're still around, I want to go to England and go see the Nottingham uh, Pipe Club, hang out with them for maybe a Christmas or something like that. That's one of my favorite, favorite YouTube. Those guys really crack me up. Uh, they're down, down to earth. If I was a director, I would have a show called Nottingham Pipe Club because those guys are witty, they're fun, and you can see the individuality, even though they have, but their common interest is in pipes. You know, they're really passionate about it, so. And hopefully, uh, in the next year, go to France or go to England and or in the United States, if there's a, a pipe smoking competition, I would like to attend. Not be part of it, but attend, sit there, smoke, and watch them. We'll see who the champion is. I always wanted to go to one. I have never been able to go to one. Now, I've had it with a group of guys, but not an official. So I, I, I definitely would like to go see one. A couple of guys. I've always, always finished around 45 to six, 60 minutes smoking. Always. That's like, right? So, I'm kind of checking out a past pipe winners. What's their technique? Can't be the pipe because I notice each pipe competition, they use different pipes to give you a pipe. So, it's got to be in the packing. It's got to be in, in uh, tamping. And the ability to to smoke for a long time. They say that a lot of it is slug. Some of it is uh, guys that went continually, man. Though I, I think they got some, something to to their technique, you know. I love it. And uh, shout out to all the. YouTube videos, guys that are putting out videos daily, weekly, keeping pipe smoking alive, you know. So basically, that's it. To my friend, shout out to Tunnel Take. I had a great time. And hopefully, you guys in the States will see me next year, you know. If you see somebody coming in, you see me coming in, you'll know who I am. <laughs> and um, I just want to have a great time, you know, in this new year. Thank the Lord for all my blessings, but time to travel a little bit, you know. Now, I was thinking of renting um, one of those uh, mobile homes. And just traveling across the U.S. I won't want to do it. It's no fun doing it by yourself. But if I can get two or three guys, we just travel from state to state. I'll travel and hit all the, the great pipe shops. And I want to go see Boswell. I want to go to Chicago. They got some great, uh, Indiana, I believe, got some great uh, pipe shops. And just travel and, and visit and, <laughs> and buy it. And buy tobacco, stock up tobacco. It'd be great. And and visit once again. Many years ago, I went to St. James. And, and see that Perique, man. See the process. I would like to go see the process in Kentucky. How they do dark fire in person. You know? Something I always wanted, like, experience. I've seen tobacco. Maduro's done it, but I've never seen pipe tobacco. So this is Sailor the Piper Man. Piper the Sailor Man. Signing off. 
Have a wonderful new year and see you then.